two music features impact uh, blood pressure, tempo and loudness. So our first question was, does the baseline blood pressure differ? Does that change how people respond to music? And the second question is, if we take the same piece of music and alter tempo or loudness, does that change the way people respond? So to do this, we took eight pieces of classical piano music that were expressive, so we didn't choose them to be particularly calm or exciting, but kind of combination. And then we made them computationally louder, or faster, or both. And from those versions that we created, we made playlists where uh, we randomly ordered those tracks. From those playlists, we had people listen to them, and we continuously monitored their language. So the analysis that I'm presenting here is from 20 participants who had a high baseline blood pressure who listened to 20 playlists, and we had 20 people with normal baseline blood pressure who listened to the same music, and we looked to see if we could find any differences in the way they responded to the music. So our first finding is that no matter baseline blood pressure, participants responded to music with a rise in blood pressure. The, an interesting thing to note is that normotensives, so people with normal blood pressure baseline, had a significantly higher response to music than did people with high blood pressure. Um, this was both true for systolic and diastolic blood pressure. We then looked at pulse pressure to try and uh, understand a little bit more what participants were responding to in music. So during music overall, high uh, baseline blood pressure participants had a higher pulse pressure than normal tensors. However, when you start to break it down into the acoustic features, we found that during the original music that we hadn't altered in any way, the significant difference in pulse pressure wasn't there. But it was there for music that we had computationally altered to be faster or slower. And when you split the music acoustically into sort of a normal speed, a slow speed, normal speed, faster speed into three groups, we found that the fastest and the loudest pieces were the ones that drove the pulse pressure difference between the groups. So we found first that the raised uh, baseline blood pressure altered the way our participants responded to music. Interestingly, it lowered their response to music, which is um, something we can talk about later. Uh, and we also found that the acoustic features of the music, when they're systematically studied in this way, uh, show there are differences based on blood pressure, based on blood pressure, but also different responses to the music. So this is a kind of entry point to start looking at the way people respond to music in real time, in time series, but also to go further into examining potentially how different musical structures impact people as they listen. Um, yeah, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'll